Hello everybody, welcome back to the Barax Loft. I wanted to thank all the subscribers out there for coming back to the channel. And also I want to also thank all the new subscribers out there for coming to the channel. So I just want to kind of show you what I'm working on today. Today I'm working on the chicken coop door, okay? Right now, as you can see, it's a sliding door, it goes up and down. Okay, I want to make it an automatic door. So when I'm not home, it automatically opens this when it's daylight and closes when it gets dark, okay? And I'm also going to do that with my turkey coop, okay? Same thing here. I'm going to make an automatic door opener with this one. That's my goal today. This is what plan I'm working on, so I have... Uh, electric one, oops, and I got a battery powered one. Okay. It's called Chicken Guard, okay? It opens the door and closes the door automatically with the daylight when it gets dark and when it gets op or daylight, it'll open up the door and close the door when it gets dark. So that is my goal today to get that done. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about this chicken door opener, okay? It also worked for good, very good for a pigeon door opener closer, you know, for the loft, so. But I haven't installed one there yet. I'm not sure if I will, but in the long run, it, it actually is not a bad idea if it keeps all the predators out of your loft, so. But as, as I also wanted to kind of share, there are three different styles with this particular chicken guard one. There's a standard one. This one here is a premium. Okay, and there's an extreme. The standard one only looks like a pound, so it worked more like a door, like that one over there, okay? If I can get it to focus here. But anyways, um, this one here lifts like three pounds or two and a half pounds, something like that. This door is th like just a hair over three pounds, and it's lifting it okay, but I'm afraid it might burn out the motor, so. So far, if I think this warden works very well, I will let you know here in the future if I like it or not. I'm just afraid with the batteries, it might not work very good in the cold. That one actually over there does plug in, but you do have to use the key fob to open and close it from the inside the house, which is not bad, but still not ideal because we're not always home. And if my son is not home, if staying at a friend's house, then the chickens don't get let out, so. Actually, I just wanted to kind of point that out there, so. Well, as you can see here, I uh, got the door installed. I got the um, chicken door opener installed. And I also did it on this one over here. Got it all installed and ready to go. Um, this one here, I, I'm not sure if I like it yet. It's a really cheap model of it. Um, but it does have... A key fob type thing so you can use it it's supposed to have it so you can go light and dark but i've never got it to work right but this one here if you hit the button it automatically closes which is not a bad thing you know i mean i can do this from the house i can actually do it from you know which is what i wanted to kind of do is either you know automatically do it but it also has a little of a See that yellow thing there? It has it so if the chicken goes in there, it'll actually stop the door, okay? We can actually show you that here in a second. So if the door is closing and the chicken comes up to it and hits this little license right here, it automatically opens back up again, as you can see here. It's going back up. And then once the chicken gets cleared in there and goes back in, it'll actually should close by itself again, so at least that's the plan. That's the first reason I picked that model, but I'm not sure if I like it yet or not. Just could for some fact is, you know, if I'm not home and, you know, and it doesn't open and it doesn't open by itself, we're SOL, so. But I do have my son here. He can actually check on them, make sure they're getting opened up like they're supposed to. The reason I'm doing it, because I know if he goes to school or whatever, and he's not home, 
you know, we got to have some way for the chickens to get in and out. So we've had a, um, a owl hit one of our turkeys here. So that's part of the reason I locked them all up at night. And I don't want nothing to happen to chickens either. So I've, cause I've seen a couple weasels out here in my place here. So as you can see, it's this closing back up again. So it's kind of, you know, when it does, it does it reset. But anyways, um, when you come over here to the turkey one, there's the boys right there. As you can see here, he's missing a bunch of feathers on his backside. Like he's got all his. It's from that owl when he hit out here. Hit that poor turkey and man, oh man, there was a screech out here. I couldn't believe it, so. But with this turkey one here, all you gotta do is come up to it. Okay, once it's all set up, the chicken guard has got a sensor here. What I'm doing is I'll cover up with a piece of tape and it'll automatically go down by itself. And when it gets daylight, it automatically opens. I don't remember how long it takes for this thing to kick in before it decides to go down. But as you kind of get the general idea anyway, so I hope you like the way things went today. So please like, share, and leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. Bye.